Aishiravanam Benedictine Monastery. The community of Aishiravanam was started in 1947 at Silvigiri in Salem Diocese by Father Philip Kaipenplakel, a Carmelite priest, and his brother Father Abraham Kaipenplakel, a Diocesan priest as an Indian ashram. Aishiravanam Benedictine Monastery is a school of Lord service. Belongs to the Benedictine Congregation of Annunciation of the Order of Saint Benedict. Aishiravanam, the very first monastery of the Benedictines in India, founded by Saint Andrew Abbey, Belgium, was canonically established by the Holy See in 1952. The community today has a strength of 100 with 40 priests and 60 others being in various stages of formation. The monks are from different states of India and live a life of unity in diversity. The community give witness to values of solitude, prayer, both personal and community, manual and intellectual work and charity service to the around us and those who need our help. This community runs a retreat house. We can accommodate 100 people for retreat. People come individually as well as a group to spend time in this house of God. Started our monastery there, and uh, our radio work there, agricultural work, building work, everything. And afterwards, we came here in uh, 1957. That time, it was completely barren when we came. And we started, and uh, I was actually I, uh, I was in charge of the construction work. We inside. Then uh, after finishing, uh, so many uh, other work also as uh, they're managing. Then now it's all the buildings were almost finished. So uh, that time it was uh, many buildings we have also managed to to kind of construct. And the engineers have to give the plan according to the institution and the plan and construct a little accustomed to do the, this kind of work. Later, having sought the help and the affiliation to St. Andrews Abbey in Belgium, the community eventually became a Benedictine monastery under the guidance of Emmanuel de Minister and Father Dominic Van. In 1957, the monastery was transferred from Silvigiri to Bangalore. The main characteristics of Aishiravan Monastery are seeking God in silence and solitude, liturgical and personal prayer, intellectual and manual work, 
hospitality to visitors and guests who came to the monastery. Orayath Lebora, prayer and work is the chief ideal of Benedictine life. The life in the monastery is described by St. Benedict as the school of the Lord's service. We have different activities like the ministries of parish, retreat preaching, education, publication, counseling and guided retreat, Christian formation of the youth, farming and any and every activity that would help the people of God to achieve the dignity of the children of God. The community encourages each member to develop his natural creative talents and use them for the good of the community and the people around us. Brief history of Ashirvana Monastery which we started first in the Diocese of Salem in the Tamil Nadu. It all happened that there was an invitation by the bishops of India to start Indian spirituality movement. And uh, two fathers, listening to the voice of the bishops from Kerala, their brothers, priest, senior Father Philip, a OCD from Trivandrum, and his younger brother, Abraham Kaipum Lakel, parish priest of Pala. They joined together to answer the bishop's invitation, and uh, the bishop of Salem Diocese invited them, or uh, welcomed them, and gave some land there they started the first beginning of what later became the first Benedictine Foundation in India. There were four members with Father Philip, one of the OCD candidates followed, and another young man, Clement Alpert, joined Father Abraham. So they started four members in a mud house thatched with a straw and that was called Silvai Giri because little later they planted a big concrete cross on the nearby hill and a statue of Sacred Heart. So Silvai Giri Holy Cross Mountain and gave the name. We lived there expecting the canonical permission from Rome. It took some years. Meanwhile, in order to get a Benedictine affiliation, five brothers and Father Philip went to Belgium in the modest abbey called St. Andrews and made a novitiate there and returned to Silvai Giri. And in that process, the monastery became canonically approved by Pope Pius XII on 8 March 1952. So that is the date of the foundation of the first Benedictine monastery in India. The main thrust of the monastery, however, is to give witness to the Benedictine values of solitude and prayer, manual and intellectual work, charity and service to those around us and those who come to hear for reflection, prayer and guidance. The effort of the living out these values is put in the context of ecclesiastical service, building up of God's kingdom here on earth. Anyone visiting the monastery and its surroundings is impressed by the quiet atmosphere of the place prompting one to become aware of the deeper values of life. For the monks themselves, this solitude is a facility to live, feel and be immersed in the ever-presently reality of God and His Spirit. About two hours are given daily to lecture the Veena, 
a simple way of direct exposure of the total self to the dynamism of the divine word of god of both old and new testaments with the richness and density of grace gained from this self exposure to the power of the word the monks gather together five times during the day to chant the praises of god using the inspired lines of the psalms now about the psalm it is uh, started uh, in a way with the two ordinary animals it is not a psalm as such but uh, in 1958 with higher pedigree male animals bulls because their farm is always improved by not by cow by by bull the bull's progeny is the, the grading so slowly for years together for year after year we graded the animals and with 40 years time the animal strength was about 1800 animal 800 animals that is the production was um, 3500 liters per day prayer the community of ashirvanam is a community of benedictine monks striving to live a simple and genuine and full monastic life according to the rule of saint benedict as members of the benedictine congregation of the annunciation we seek to remain faithful to our authentic tradition continually revitalized by the holy spirit we are committed to honor and glorify god through the harmonious balance of prayer study work and hospitality ashirvanam benedictin retreat center is uh, one of the oldest uh, retreat center in uh, the archdiocese of bangalore and uh, This was started uh, in 1957. When the monastery started here, many came and uh, asked us for a retreat. Then the uh, small scale we start uh, uh, in the bedrooms, and now it is enlarged. We have more convenience and facilities, and uh, we welcome all those who wanted to do a silent retreat, Benedictine day of retreat, and these more um, lay people plus. religious priests and college uh, um, and all are coming for this retreat retreat center ashirvanam benedictine retreat center is one of the beautiful retreat center in bangalore when we came to kengeri in 1957 many people requested us to have a retreat house so that they could come and stay with the monks and pray and so We started a small retreat house to accommodate 20 persons. This was the humble beginning of Ashirvanam Benedictine Retreat Center. Later we built new buildings with well furnished rooms. We undertake guided retreats for priests, nuns, seminarians and lay people around a 100 acres monastery silent campus facilitates the persons to enter in one zone cave and experience god better the gregorian chant of the monks during the divine office makes spiritual vibration in the campus